everyone. Um, I am so sorry if the lighting is really bad, if I look washed out at all. Um, I just, I had to make this video. I, I was going to do a video on my camera, um, and I had forgot the cord at home, so I don't have any footage of my rheumatologist appointment, unfortunately. Um, we did end up staying downtown uh, in a hotel um, because there was a huge snowstorm that was on its way last night and I did not want to miss uh, this appointment. This appointment was way too important to, to miss. So um, we got a hotel, my mom and I, and we stayed in the hotel. I was anxious all night. I couldn't sleep. I, um, I felt awful this morning. If you see any red dots at all, it's, uh, I was throwing up a lot. Um, I've just kind of been, you know, losing weight um, for no reason. I've always had trouble losing weight. And the last month or so, it's just, it's, I mean, I've lost 10 pounds. It just doesn't make sense. I've always struggled with my weight, and it all of a sudden is so easy. I, I don't understand. Anyways, um, so I couldn't wait to put this video up, and I do realize that my webcam, for some reason, it makes this weird um, kind of swishy sound when I do the direct upload videos. Um, so I'm going to try from now on to do it with my video camera, um, but I'll get into that a little more after um, I let you guys know how my appointment was. Um, and for those of you who have either been following me, um, for a while, um, if you knew me through the Facebook support group, um, you know it's been a long time that I've been sick, and I, I had so much going on this appointment that it scared me to death that of what the turnout would be like if, if I got there and she said I can't help you I I don't know what it is I think I would have I am sure I would have given up um, I know I've talked to you all about a website called ratemd.com um, I actually found my rheumatologist through that website. Um, she was five stars um, and I needed the best. I was not, a, I was a, a very unique case. I was not, um, I was not textbook at all. And the minute, okay, I'm not going to do a doctor review, but I'll make another video about kind of how what happened at the appointment, but I'll do that with my um, with my camcorder. Um, and I'm sorry if I look like crap. I it was such a long day. I got no sleep last night, and I was um, you know going on different subways all day with my mom to get to this doctor in you know a blizzard outside. <laughs> so I had a lot riding on this appointment and. Um, I was petrified. I was so sick walking into her office. Um, my joint, uh, everything. Like I, I, I was sick. Um, I hadn't taken my pain medication because I wanted her to see me as raw as as I. Uh, as raw as I am, you know, when I'm at home and I am in pain and and I'm crying and I'm sick and I wanted her to see that. I put no makeup on. I didn't take my pain medication. I wanted her to see me as raw as, as I could be. And um, for those of you who have been following me, 
if you haven't. Um, I don't want to cry. After after four years being sick, I had her look at me and tell me, you have systemic lupus. And I just, I broke down. And not because, not because I was sad, and I was sad, but I've known the possibility of this for quite some time now, and nobody took the time to look at my history, nobody took the time to, to see what I have gone through. I was in her office for two hours. When I go to my family doctor, I'm in there for at most 20 minutes. I was there for two hours. And I don't want to cry because I've done enough crying today, but to be told you're not crazy, what you have been going through is legitimate, and I'm going to help you get better. I was crying because for the first time in I don't know how long, a doctor has looked at me and said, I can help you. You don't have to feel this way all the time. I can help you. Let me take the weight off your shoulders. Let me help you carry the weight. And I couldn't have asked for a better doctor. It's been a long time coming. And I have been to some crappy doctors. And I saw a rheumatologist less than a year ago. And she looked at me and said, you have a negative ANA. You do not have lupus. She disregarded my symptoms. She disregarded everything that I've been through. And this doctor, she took the time and I'm so thankful. It's been kind of bittersweet. <laughs> you know, my mom has had her points where she's, you know, been crying and my dad has been angry and <laughs> My grandmother has been crying, and we're all, it's just, it's bittersweet, and I can't wait to start feeling better. I know I'm going to have this for the rest of my life, and I've, I'm prepared for that. I've had time to deal with that, but to know now that I have a fighting chance and someone has listened to me. Um, I was started on some medication. She started me on an anti-malarial drug, and I'll do an entire video on my camcorder. Um, but um, before I run out of time, I just want to let you guys know um, I'm going to invest in uh, an HD flip camera. Um, so I'll be able to take you guys around with me and vlog every single day. I don't, I'm not sure when I'm going to get it, but um, it's going to be soon. My uh, mom has agreed, um, that, and it's therapeutic for me as well, so I'll do a video soon with an update. Um, she also put me on a steroidal injection, but I'll talk about that later. <laughs>